So we're looking at a rather special power takeoff unit of the uh, F450 tow truck that we had in a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the magnetic clutch install isn't working, the magnetic clutch just doesn't seem to have the grunt to actually transfer the power to the pump properly. It's been slipping. Manufacturer is saying you need to burnish the faces. Uh, just don't know how much we need to burnish the faces to actually get something to, to grip. In the, his frustrations, the owner of the truck says he has a big contract coming up. Something to do with some races. So he wants us to leave everything as is and reinstall the, the original PTO that actually came out of the um, out of the truck that we removed. This is the PTO that was mounted on the side of the transmission. That's the PTO. That's the pump. That's the main drive gear that drives off the transmission gear. And uh, Somewhere right here, here it is here. So there's the other gear that actually drives. So this gear drives this gear. Makes sense, all right? And in here, inside this hub system, in here, inside this transmission, is it? it's actually got a wet multi-plate clutch system, which is all these here, all right? Now the reason he moved away, the, the reason he moved away from the wet multi-plate clutch system is because he said it engaged all right, but didn't ever really disengage properly, and they had a lot of problem in stopping the PDO from working when they had to drive off to a, the next location or job. So rather than put it back in, back together, I, des I decided, in my years of wisdom, to strip it down and just see why it wasn't disengaging. So we've discovered some interesting things. Uh, I believe that this, once upon a time, looked like that. And something has gone wrong there. Uh, a lot of um, scoring on here. I believe the scoring is from all the uh, contaminants that were built up on this magnet here. These were fuzzy with metal shavings found this little piece of o-ring just floating around in here we're wondering where the hell did that come from and with a bit of research and some looking at some manufacturers drawings I actually found that there's the, um, the piston that actually the piston that actually creates the friction but obviously it was never creating really good friction because this o-ring was in two pieces, not one piece. So a couple of things. This is Viton, unfortunately, which means tracking one of these down that size may be a bit of a challenge. Uh, I know we're on a tight time frame. I'm going to hold off until Monday. I do actually have a nitrile seal. You insist we try and get a, a new Viton seal. You can also see Viton seals on the shafts there. Uh, you can see there's been a bit of heat transferred through this wet clutch system. Everything is kind of a pretty blue color. The blue color may be from heat treatment or flame hardening. Bluey color there is from heat treatment and flame hardening, but it may be. Uh, anyway, so I found why this wasn't working so well. It wasn't disengaging properly. So um, a new O-ring, I don't know if we can get just one of these or we have to order a new uh, clutch system. <laughs>